Hey, hey, there we go. I fixed it. What's up, you valuable YouTubers? Today we're going to be playing Minecraft, but it's not an ordinary Minecraft. And yes, as you can see, I've built a full netherite beacon and survival. So, yeah. Let's go. What's this? Let's read this book. Huh. Ricardo Monument. The monument was reserved for General Ricardo back in 1777. This monument was established as a peaceful getaway from dangerous events. This monument has a spirit of General Ricardo during 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. One can see his ghost. History about General Ricardo. General Ricardo, born on September 10, 1712, in Ruka Village. He was a farmer for his family. He attended Ruka High School. After he graduated high school, he moved to Ricardo City. General Ricardo attended Ricardo State University. Ricardo graduated from RSU in 1732. After he graduated college, he became a doctor in specializing in diseases and, and ailments. ailments. In 1735, a war broke out. The liberate Rukas decided to attack Rucario capital. Rucario got married to Rucario. Hmm. In 1736, Rucario decided to fight back against the Ruka liberals. They had more advanced technology, so defeating them was no easy task. Or, de so defeating them was extremely difficult. In 1737, the Republic of Lucario's formed allies with General Lucario. This was a very fierce battle. The battle raged on for 20 years. In 1757, the Republic of Lucario's, along with Lucario, finally regained control of Lucario capital. After the Ru Ruka War of 1735, a deadly Lucario A virus began spreading. The virus was extremely deadly that everyone left. Everyone in Rucario capital was infected by the Rucario virus. The virus took the lives of 95 million, 95% of people in Rucario capital. It was the worst disease in history. When the virus broke out, General Rucario found an abandoned vault. In the vault, someone contracted a weaker strain of the Rucario A virus. General Ricardo told everyone to isolate them in the lower levels of the vault. Once isolated, Ricardo began finding a cure for the virus. Research took months. On March 21, 1758, Ricardo found the vaccine for the Ricardo A virus. The vaccine was tested on an infected person. The vaccine experiment was a success. The virus broke down when the vaccine interfered with the virus. During the summer of 1758, Rucario contracted a deadly flu virus. He laid there sickened. His condition got better over a few days. During the booming of 1758, everyone was moving back into Rucario City. General Rucario decided to fix up the town. Then everything collapsed. Another country was sending nuclear warheads to Rucario City. Everyone panicked and down to the vault they went. All 120 million people made it down to the vault. The vault doors were sealed. The vault had great loot that lasted a while. The vault was underground so no one was injured. Everyone was safe. A few years later, everyone left the vault. Rucario and Rucaria decided to have kids. They were both in their 30s. Rucario ha Rucaria had a miscarriage and was saddened. Fortunately, she had a successful delivery and the baby was a boy. Both were excited. They both agreed to name him Rio. Everyone congratulated them for their baby boy. Everything seemed to be fine. On September 10th, 1760, the reactor had a dangerous meltdown. However, everyone was able to move to another part of the vault. Power was out, so everyone had campfires. 
Rucario found a portal. Rucario informed everyone that there was a portal. He went in and was gone for a few months. He returned with the greatest loot ever. Then, Rucario then fell ill immediately months after. He tested himself and he had a 100% chance of dying. Everyone was worried about Rucario, but he remained cool. When he got sicker, he went down to the lower levels of the vault to isolate himself. Everyone eventually went down to see Rucario. What they didn't know was that Rucario contracted a deadly bacterium. The Lustrous Rucarium 1766BZ or LR66BZ. This bacterium wreaked havoc on Rucario's body. Symptoms of LR1766-BZ include shortness of breath, heart palpitations, unnecessary sweating, vomiting blood, diarrhea, malaise, cold sweats, organ failure, and death. There was no cure for LR1766BZ. Once you contract it, it's fatal. Rikari only had a few years left to live, so he remained in the lower vault. People helped Rukari with food and drinks. A year before Rukari's death, the vault hired a preacher. The preacher sat there with Rukari's family, praying that he would pull through. However, Rukari had gotten more ill. His heart rate was fast at 175 beats per minute. Rucario's heart rate was so high that he was risking ventricular fibrillation. V-fib is a deadly but shockable rhythm. V-fib is where the right ventricle quivers instead of pumping blood. A few weeks later, Rucario's heart went from ventricular tachycardia to ventricular fibrillation. Everyone was laying right beside Rucario. Everyone prayed for Rucario. After his heart went into ventricular fibrillation, or V-fib, Rucario's organs started shutting down. A couple of months later, Rucario was unconscious. His brain was shutting down to prevent the infection from spreading to his brain. Rucario's heart rate was at 200 beats per minute. He was on the verge of dying. Everyone couldn't believe their eyes that he was dying. A month later, on September 10th, 1769, Rucario's heart stopped beating. He was declared dead at age 57. Everyone cried at his bedside. They went ahead and buried him in the Rucario Cemetery. After a while, the townsfolk built a memorial for Ricardo. The memorial was an icon for Ricardo City. They built a beacon of hope for those who got sick with a disease. As the memorial was built, every year people would come to worship, would come to the tower to worship General Ricardo and God. Ricardo died from congestive heart failure at age 69. Rio was 22 when his mom died. Rio had a special condition. Rio was autistic. He had no clue on daily life, but he settled in greatly with the townsfolks. The townsfolks taught Rio how to fight. Rio became the next Rucario. He decided to fight in the Great Rucario War of 1776. The war declared because the Republic of Rucarios wanted to become United Rucario States of America. The battle lasted for a month. Then Rio, along with George Washington, all signed the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence declared that any, everyone can do anything independently. This was the greatest achievement for Rio. A few years later, the economy was doing great. Rio was named president and he protects he protected everyone's rights and amendments. 
After Rio left presidency, he was famous. Everyone congratulated Rio. Advancing, Rio's, Rio sadly passed away at age 40. Rio's cause of death was Rucariotic cancer, which is cancer of the Rucariotic system. <clears throat> the Rucariotic system was both a reproductive system and an immune system. Both the systems were separated by the Rucariotic branch. Rio was laid to rest in the Rucario Cemetery, right in between his parents' graves. Rio's official date of death was September 25th, 1816. He will be missed. Advancing to September 8th, 2022, a fellow person named Mega Rucario 928 refurbished Rucario City. He and 700,000, or 70,000, not 700,000, 70,000 others now lived in Rucario City. Rucario Capital became the capital of Rucario State. There are now over two, 25 million people that reside in Rucario Capital. Nearby Rucario City lied a small village named Rio Valley that was unfortunately nuked back in 1969. The nuclear explosion was so severe that the radiation still remains there today. As of right now, the economy is tanking and food shortages are becoming a realistic nightmare. Everything was better when Rio was president. And this, ne these next six pages are going to be sad, guys, so... Yeah, beware. Here was a note from General Ricario before he died. My fellow loved ones, I am so sickened to where I am about to leave you all permanently. My dear Rucaria and Rio, I love you guys with all my heart. I'm barely riding as I wither on my deathbed. The town's folks were extremely nice and caring to me. I too will miss them. I know seeing someone die is saddening, but never ever forget that I love you. And I will be in your heart forever. This is my final goodbye as I'm writing this. I love you all. As I write this, I'm getting closer to my death. I will miss everyone that loved and cared for me. I will miss them. As I'm about to pass away, the last thing that I want to say is, Rio, please be safe and warm. To my beloved Rucario, please take care of Rio. Just remember that I love you and it made me cry to know that I was going to leave you soon. To my buddy Rio, make me proud, kiddo. Do the right thing and respect your peers. Please be safe throughout your life. I was able to help the people in need. I was the hero. And now I am laying here, withering on my deathbed. <clears throat> I will see you guys up in heaven, hopefully later in the future. For now, I love you both. And goodbye. Rest in peace, Rucario, Rucaria, and Rio. You will all be missed. Copyright National Institutes of Rucario. Headquarters, Rucario City. Copyright 2022 National Institutes of Rucario. Please ask for written permission to redistribute. Wow, look at that. A sad way to read a story while it's raining. Wow. But yeah, though, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, leave a like. Remember, all of this is just, you know, I'm not in real life. I'm not really dying. I'm just saying. I'm not. I'm just saying that in Minecraft. I'm pretty. But yeah, though. See you guys. Bye-bye.